Covering Bradford County this evening, a child overdosing lands a couple in jail. Two parents now charged in the death of their 22-month-old back in April. The boy found dead at their home on Northeast 18th Avenue in Stark. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is live as the sheriff's office's preliminary toxicology results show morphine was in this child's system. Ethan? And Kent, it was those preliminary toxicology results that led investigators to re-interview this couple yesterday. The sheriff's office says that's when the couple told them exactly what really happened. These are the parents now in jail, each charged with aggravated child neglect. 35-year-old Thomas Howard and 26-year-old Christian Morgan are being held here at the Bradford County Jail. Their 22-month-old son died in April in a situation investigators say was avoidable. I don't know of anybody, anybody in this world, uh, when a child dies needlessly, that would feel anything but anger and sadness and just, you know, a complete disbelief that this can happen. Captain Brad Smith with the Bradford County Sheriff's Office says the couple wasn't up front with detectives immediately after their son's death. But Thursday, with new preliminary toxicology results, Howard and Morgan gave them new information. Uh, they finally came forward and, and said something about it. So they, they were very um, discouraged that the parents were putting on this facade uh, trying to act like nothing actually happened and that they had no uh, responsibility whatsoever uh, in the child's death. The sheriff's office says they admitted to having two morphine pills in their car when they realized one was missing. They told the detective they knew it was possible the child had gotten the pill, but they continued on, each taking half of the remaining pill before drinking alcohol and smoking marijuana. The next morning, the mother discovered the boy dead. We're going to continue to... Um, pursue cases like this and uh, charge any uh, parents that are neglectful to their children. And the state attorney could adjust those charges once the official autopsy and toxicology results come in. Uh, that couple does have two other children who were living in the home. Officials tell me they were removed from the home and put into DCF custody uh, earlier this week. Reporting live, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, The Local Station.